crypto, the notion that SEC Chairman Gary Gensler is quitting, has swept Twitter. John Deaton, an attorney who is in favor of excerpt, has responded on the speculation suggesting that a resignation the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission CSEC decision to appeal in the Ripple case has left many in the cryptocurrency sector scratching their heads. Nikolesh Dew, a journalist for Coindesk, clarifies the murky circumstances of the case, and Mr. Huber, a major player in the cryptocurrency community, discusses the implications of the court's verdict. Ripple's XARP sales have increased dramatically month over month despite the ongoing legal battles. But what does this portend for XARP, and how does it stack up against the cryptocurrency's turbulent history? The claims that the decision by the SEC to appeal the Ripple case is being questioned by both crypto attorneys and fans. This action has further complicated the already murky legal landscape around Ripple as a cryptocurrency. Quite a few crypto lawyers are even saying the decision itself doesn't really make a lot of sense, D added. Mr. Huber chipped in, saying that the court verdict had a silver lining despite the contentious appeal. Excerpt was not ruled a security. The market was relieved by this clarification. Ripple has continued to sell Excerpt despite the legal uncertainty. Surprisingly, the business has sold 2.22 billion XRP since the beginning of 2023 up significantly from the average monthly sales volume of 200 million XRP in the previous year. In the previous year, Mr. Huber reassured XRP supporters who had expressed worry that a separate group was buying up these large quantities of XRP. Despite the massive amount of transactions, Carrier CRP still outperformed the market. If we rewind to 2017, XRP holders rode a roller coaster of extraordinary highs and lows. Ripple's escrow feature launch resulted in a 400 increase in XRP's value, followed by a stunning 60 decline the next day. This was the first of several swings in volatility that kept traders on edge. By the end of 2017, investors who bought and sold XRP at just the right times witnessed returns of over 1,200. The tremendous volatility of the market, however, made it essential to have a plan in place to lock in gains and ride out the storm. The only winners would have been short-term investors. Most traders don't even bother with a plan. Since Judge Torres' judgment, the value of XRP has been steadily increasing, solidifying the cryptocurrency's place as one of the world's four most prominent digital currencies. Analysts have expressed concern that the current increasing trend may not be sustainable. The market mood indicators are flashing red, indicating that XRP has a tough road ahead of it. The cryptocurrency world, and notably extra backers, is in an uproar over a commentary written by Charles Gasparino for the New York Post. Gasparino questioned the judgment made by Judge and it made by Judge and Lisa Torres on XRP and the firm that uses the currency, Ripple Labs, in his article. The decision in the Securities and Exchange Commission's seek. Case against Ripple is at the heart of the debate. According to the SEC, XRP is a security that must be regulated by the agency. However, Ripple maintains that XRP should be seen and used as a currency and not as securities. Contrary to the sex's accusations, Judge Torres ruled that XRP is not a security and the matter is now closed. Many people now see Bitcoin regulation as something that falls beyond the scope of the second. Crypto Law's founder and attorney, John Deaton, rushed to Twitter to express his approval with Judge Torres' ruling and to talk out his own legal fights with the SEC over the agency's treatment of cryptocurrencies in general and XRP in particular. Deaton blasted the case's atmosphere of tribalism and echo chamber politics, and he blasted the SEC for its asymmetrical approach to various cryptocurrencies. Deaton claims that the sexive approach to cryptocurrency regulation has been inconsistent, citing the fact that Ethereum, another major cryptocurrency, has been granted a regulatory free pass in the past, while Excerpt has been subjected to intensive scrutiny. Despite objections alleging the judgment defies the policy reasons underlying the 1934 Securities Act, Deaton praised Judge Torres's finding, saying that she made the proper conclusion. He speaks highly of the judge's background and experience, claiming that the SECI would need more than luck to reverse her ruling on appeal. Meanwhile, attorney and Metal Almond founder James A. Murphy tweeted in response to Gasparino's post, calling out the writer for making baseless accusations against Judge Torres. He supported Judge Torres' decision 
and said that Gasparino had overlooked an important difference between stocks and cryptocurrency tokens. Many people who engage in the cryptocurrency market hope to one day amass a fortune. The difference between XRP and Bitcoin is enormous when considering the number of tokens one would need to become a billionaire. Investors who want to become millionaires with XRP should know that doing so requires a substantial outlay of capital. However, because to XRP's lower pricing in comparison to Bitcoin, investors may buy a larger quantity of tokens with a smaller investment. Bitcoin now has a greater value than XRP. With this in mind, would be multi-millionaires who want to invest in XRP may amass a sizable amount of tokens, making millionaire status a more feasible goal. However, it might take a greater initial investment in Bitcoin to get the same result. However, there are dangers associated with this investment, as there are with any. Cryptocurrency markets are notorious for their volatility and frequent price swings. Before putting their money into any digital asset, investors should proceed with care and do extensive study. The investor's risk tolerance and investing objectives are other important considerations. The best route to financial security for one investor may not work for another. Successfully managing the Bitcoin market also involves thinking about the long term and diversifying one's financial portfolio. The U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC, just announced its intention to appeal the judgment in favor of Ripple and XRPQ given by Judge Annalisa Torres last week. You may remember that Judge Torres decided last week that a significant portion of Ripple's XRP sales over the years are not investment contracts. The newest allegation by SEC is that the judgment has given other defendants battling similar lawsuits hope. Legal counsel for Terraform Labs and Du Quan, the creator of the imploding Terra blockchain, recently used Ripple and XRP's recent success against the SEC to argue that the agency should drop its action against them. This was first published by Time Stabloid. SEC is reportedly exploring a review of the historic XRP win, as revealed in a tweet just now by James K. Falan, a defense lawyer and former federal prosecutor. One of the defendants hoping to use Tory's ruling as a weapon against the securities regulator is imprisoned Terraform Labs co-founder Du Quan. In a lawsuit submitted to a federal court in Manhattan in February, the SEC accused Quan of fraud and other breaches of law. The SEC has said that Judge Quan should not use the Ripple case as precedent in his ruling. The government has said that it would appeal the case since Torres' decision adds unfounded requirements to determining whether or not an asset is a security. Further, the SEC's legal staff claimed that the ruling was impossible to reconcile with all these core securities law principles. When asked about the SEC's prospective court appeal over XRP's classification as a non-security, which was discussed on social media today, John Deaton, one of the XRP community's most prominent legal defenders, did not hold back. The SEC, according to Deaton's forecast, would lose on appeal if they appeal it. Today, the SEC filed a filing detailing the recently concluded Ripple V's SEC case, sparking speculation that the securities regulator will seek to appeal the case to the U.S. Court of Appeals. This paper states that the SEC is considering the various available avenues for further review and intends to recommend that the SEC seek such review. The document in question is part of the ongoing legal battle between the SEC and former Terraform Labs CO Du Quan.